For this week's Your Corner, we're going to Ocean Beach. You know, we talk a lot lately about school budgets and specifically whether schools can afford to keep the arts in classrooms. Well, there's a group here in San Diego trying to solve this problem, not only here, but all over the country right now. Good morning. Inside this Ocean Beach Elementary School classroom, you did such a good job coming in. Jasmine Green's kindergartners learn some of life's earliest lessons, rhyming, one note at a time. These kids and thousands of others around the country are learning to play the ukulele thanks to this woman right here. And they have these beautiful high little voices and they can sing in the key of C. Jessica Barron is the founder of an organization called Guitars in the Classroom. Over roughly the past decade, they've donated tens of thousands of instruments to hundreds of schools. What's this called, Shiloh? The net. And trained 11,000 teachers in 32 states. Ready, go. What we're doing is building capacity in the teachers to comfortably lead and teach through music so that the children feel music is just a natural part of what they're learning. Are we songwriters? And then they start writing songs, and that's when it all takes off, because their creativity just... I dare not go. There's just such a joy in the kids' faces. But Principal Marco Drapeau says this is about more than just making students happy. There's so much research around how the arts can help a brain development, and so we feel this is not something that we find time for. This is something that has to be a, a strong component in any child's education. Unfortunately, when money is tight, the arts are always part of the debate. Save our teachers! And while the San Diego Unified District is facing a $124 million budget shortfall, the music programs and teachers most at risk are those at elementary school. How much does it hurt? It keeps me up at night. So when we're having to let go regular classroom teachers, everybody's going to suffer, right? Which is why Jessica Barron says the most realistic solution may not necessarily be teaching more music, but rather using more music to teach. When we're teaching language arts or math through music, it becomes a joyful experience. Every kid's going to learn. The end. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Well, Guitars in the Classroom has programs that actually train teachers for free. They also have a summer retreat in Julian for teachers. If you want to find out more about it, just go to our website, NBC7.com, and search Music in Schools. We've mentioned 